All right, here we got a brand new 2023 Fleetwood Discovery and Porter's claim that slide won't close in the back. The thing just got in, so we're gonna run through the ropes here and see if this is just a little user error or if something's actually wrong with it. Get it running first because like most drivables, they like to see that the engine's on before you move the slides. And we're gonna come back here. This is the slide in question. And we are going to, one, try and get the lights on here. No, that's not gonna work. We a little cold. Oh, it just doesn't want me to hit the all lights on. All right, well, we'll look into that too, I guess. 2023 it's brand new we shouldn't have any issues with the slide but if uh, any of you guys have been around RVs for a while you know that that's not always true so nothing well, I guess it's really not closing All right, well, we got interrupted there for a second, but I've confirmed, in fact, that everything should be working here, right? Um, all the rest of the slide buttons are working. It extends just fine. I had a hunch on what the problem was. Um, not as much user error as it is just a headache switch. So a lot of these slides that have these tilt beds as you can see, the back of the bed's up there. I've got the mattress pulled down. These tilt beds uh, have to be in the closed position all the way up before you can close the slide otherwise the bed would just hit the dressers and stuff here so the issue here and this is somewhat of a common one on motorhomes with these if you have a bed lift you're going to have a switch like that it's a little sail switch and what has to happen is if the bed closes all the way it will push that switch which will tell it it is safe to close the slide room kind of a safety feature right um, so for some reason this bed is not going up high enough to activate that switch that's a problem for when we get it into the shop for now I've kind of just got that switch pinned so that it will allow me to close the slide and get the thing into the shop first I got to get this big heavy mattress uh, back up on here in a bent position all by myself Porter was just in here, should have had him help me, but either way, I'm gonna get this up and I'm gonna guarantee that slide's gonna close. All right, and as you can tell, I'm a little out of breath, but I got that mattress back on there by myself. Um, a little heavy and a little awkward trying to pick that thing up, not to mention it's freezing cold, so my fingers hurt. Um, but as you can see, push the button, slide closed, no problem. Not really too much point to this video, except for, you know, when you have issues like a slide not closing, sometimes it may not be as catastrophic as you think. You know, in this situation, like I said, it's a bed lift. If you have a bed lift slide that's not closing, that is very commonly probably why. Um, especially if it tries to go out, but it won't try and go in, that safety switch is what's preventing it from going in. Um, so just try and think outside the box sometimes. That's the life of an RV tech, thinking outside the box and kind of knowing where your problematic points are so you can be ahead of the game instead of opening up everything and starting to test things and diagnose things i you know based off prior experience i kind of already knew what that was so i wanted to share it with you guys